room know someone who has asthma? Anybody who has asthma? Yeah. Um, so what, what a lot of people don't necessarily know is that in New York City, as opposed to other places where there's more of a car culture, in New York City, the emissions that are in the air, especially the emissions that cause global warming, are actually from buildings. 79% um, of the emissions that cause global warming are from buildings. So um, building retrofits measures that reduce the use of energy, of heating fuel, of electricity, of water, are critical to improving our environment um, and reducing those emissions that cause global warming and all the other negative things that we were talking about. So what those retrofits are, are you, know, you, you, you might think of them right away. Insulation, changing the light bulbs, um, you know, wrapping the heating pipes, wrapping the hot water pipes, putting weather strips, some small things, some big things, heating systems that are more efficient, um, roof insulation that's more efficient, but also um, your refrigerator, if it's over 10 years old, is probably not as efficient as it should be. And the reason Pratt Center cares about this, in, in addition to all those other things, and the reason Bedford Status and Restoration cares about this, in addition to all those other reasons, is because um, we're finding that the process of retrofitting buildings is actually gets us to a lot of our goals in terms of neighborhood preservation and community development. So we lower the housing costs for people by reducing their water bills, water and sewer bills, by reducing their electric bills, by reducing their heating bills, and you make your homes more affordable. You also make those same homes more durable and more comfortable at the same time. You make them safer, you make the air quality safer inside. As Wendell says, you, you reduce um, public health issues like asthma, you make the housing stock more sturdy, and in the process, you can engage residents in the neighborhood improvement. So for all those reasons, we're, you know, we came to restoration and, and, and started conversations about, well, how do we use this as a community development strategy at the same time that it's an environmental strategy? And also to help maintain the rents, because all this work that we talk about, the thing that we talk about, the tenants for rents will, will not be raised based on organization. I think that's important. But something for people got to decide whether I buy groceries, whether I pay the light bill, or what do I do? And then, you know, I don't know if everybody knows what the weatherization assistance program actually is, but it's it's one of the federal it's a federal program for people who earn sixty percent of area median income or less um, to make these energy upgrades in your building. And it can be provided as much as a hundred percent of the cost in your building. So it's a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't know about my service programs. Folks may not know that if you put an in insulation in your home, if you put in a new heating system, that the federal government will actually give you up to $1,500 off on your taxes this year. Um, people don't know that there's this array of incentive programs from utility companies. National Grid will give you rebates for making energy improvements. So, what we realized is there are this sort of panoply of incentive programs out there folks don't know about it, and what we could do is kind of come up with a strategy to package all this information and make it work for people by bringing it right to your door. So we came up together with this project called Retrofit Better Sides and Block by Block, um, where we try to do a pilot block, and, and we're trying to do that right outside the door here on Hercules Street between Bedford Avenue and New York Avenue. Um, and what we're trying to do is retrofit, in other words, provide these energy upgrades to as many of the homes on one block as possible to kind of provide a model block and also a model strategy for how to reach people and get all this information into their hands so that they can do what they need to do to get all these benefits. Um, at the same time, the other reason that this is such a good strategy for a community is because it can create jobs at the same time. Because the more demand we're creating for these services to install insulation, to do the outreach, to do the energy audits and assessments to determine what you need in your individual home, we're also creating the possibility of jobs for people who live right here in the neighborhood. And then to be able to track results. So what we hope as part of the EPA process and what evolves is that we're going to be able to show that in Bethlehem's and over time, our environmental quality and the livability improves. So we, we went to the folks on Herkimer Street, we, um, Wendell and I, and some others from Restoration, um, and the New York City Justice Corps, which is the jobs program piece of this, where um, Restoration is working with folks who are 18 to 24 years old who have criminal justice histories. Um, and we, we presented to the um, folks that live on this one block at the, at the Friendship Baptist Church uh, back in the late spring, and we said, you know, what about it? Do 
you want to be this pilot green block? And we told them about the incentives. Um, we were able to offer free energy assessments to the homeowners on that block, and we got a really enthusiastic response. Um, so I'll just tell you where, where we're at. So 25 homeowners signed up really at the meeting, pretty much. Um, we told them about which incentives they qualify for. So depending on your income, depending in part on your age, depending whether you live in the house, you may be qualified for these different incentives, depending what, what income your renters have. Um, we began working with the Justice Corps. Um, part of that program is to provide community benefits projects. So the Justice Corps was, enabled us to do projects on the block, like um, there's three murals, murals now on the block. They help upgrade a community garden on the block. They did some graffiti removal. Um, Wendell Shop hired some folks in permanent positions, was able to give them opportunities for internship, and um, placed them in other folks. Um, this is a picture of the community garden that got an upgrade. Um, right now, there's also uh, 48 tree pits that have just been opened up by the New York City Parks Department through their Million Trees program. So we're going to have 48 new street trees on those blocks to provide shade. Um, with that area community council, we did a, a bulk swap so that everybody, tents included, could come down and bring their incandescent light bulbs, which use four times the energy of a CFL light bulb, and exchange them for a more efficient light bulb. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. We're in the process of doing the energy audits. We are in the process of um, recommending folks to different uh, strategies. And we hope that, that what this will be is just the first block of many, many, many blocks um, in beverage sites. Um, so we think it's a good strategy, and we appreciate the EPA making a little time for us in this session to kind of put it out there to folks as one of the possible strategies to adopt as part of a neighborhood plan for 